Hey, badass business owners, let me ask you a question. Have you ever spent money on an advertising campaign? Maybe it's postcards, Facebook ads, whatever the case may be, and you just weren't seeing the success with them. You just weren't getting the leads that you expected to get out of them, and you sure the heck weren't getting any of the money that you invested in this coming back to you. Well, let's talk a little bit about what might have happened and what you can do about it. First off, let me apologize. My computer blew up and I am using a different sound system today uh, in order for this podcast episode. So if it sounds a little different, it is, and hopefully it'll be fixed by next week. But a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. So yesterday I had a wonderful conversation with a small business owner like yourself who had just purchased and spent some really good money on postcards and some Facebook ads, but they weren't converting the way that she wanted. And there was something that she just knew wasn't sitting right with her. So we sat there and we kind of looked at the different ads and the ones that were being posted and the postcards. And although they were beautiful, they just weren't doing the job. And that's number one that we need to talk about. Sometimes when something looks really good, we get pulled into it and we go, wow, this is really good. This is going to grab people's attention. And it probably will from an aesthetic standpoint, but not from what we need them to do. Remember, whether you're running a Facebook ad, a postcard, a door flyer, whatever the case may be, whatever you're putting out there to your people, the thing that you got to keep in mind is their pain point. We talk about this all the time. What's going to make them stop and look and try to want to get more information? If you think about the action that people are taking when they get a postcard, for example, they've got a whole stack of mail in their hand and they're going, wants my money, wants my money, give them money, whatever the case may be. They're going to keep going. They're not, something's got to make you stop and say, oh, wow, this is different. This talks to me. So on a postcard, especially think about all those ones you get during the election season. I mean, are you really looking at any of those things? You're not. If you stop at all, you're going to find that when you stop on a postcard, it's because there's some words, there's something in there that grabbed your attention. And in her particular case, for example, what she was featuring was more of who they were and what they were about versus grabbing the attention by somebody seeing exactly what their pain point is, something that they were personally struggling with. If you make the main thing on the postcard, what that client is struggling with, they're more than likely going to go, oh, that's me. What what do you got for me? I, I need something to stop this pain or to make this go away. That's what's going to make them stop. It's making it about them and making it about the pain that they're suffering right now. Yes, it's great that they're going to end up with X, Y, or Z, but in the meantime, what they're suffering with today that you want to get their attention on, that's what you need to do. Same thing with your Facebook ads, because if you think about it, like we were looking at our Facebook ad and, you know, it was really nice and everything else, but would it stop me from scrolling? And the reason I say that is think about whenever you're on any kind of social media. I don't care if it's Facebook ad, YouTube shorts, TikTok, anything else. What makes you stop when you're scrolling up and down is something about it grabbed your attention, whether it's the thumbnail, whether it's the picture, whether it's the big words, whatever the case may be. And in this case, same thing. It was talking more about the outcome down the end, but or it was more generic. But what it wasn't talking to is the pain point that would make somebody stop and say, that's me. This resonates with me. And I challenge each of you guys to do the exact same thing. I want you to look at any piece of content that you're putting out for your business from a marketing standpoint and asking yourself, what is going to make your ideal client stop and read more because it doesn't matter what you give away because we had a great conversation also when it comes to, do you have to give something away? Do you not? Yeah, yeah there's always going to be people out there looking for discounts and coupons and all that. But depending upon your business, that may not be the right best route for you. What people want, and we've already talked about this, when you can solve the pain they have, price isn't as big of an issue. It becomes an issue if there's multiple of you that can solve that it pain. But if there's only a handful of people that can do it, the person that's going to win from a marketing standpoint is the one that speaks to them the clearest, that can really get across that, hey, we've got the solution for your pain. So please, whatever you do, any type of marketing that you put together, I really, really, really want you to focus on looking at it through your customer's eyes and saying, would this make me stop? If this is an ad that I'm going to be scrolling through, would the things that pop off the page, the things that matter the most, would it pass the scroll test? Could I stop for it? If I'm giving them a piece of marketing, whether it's a door hanger, flyer, 
a uh, postcard, whatever the case may be, will this make me stop as I'm shuffling through my mail? That's really, really important. I want you to start paying attention that when you go through the mail, what postcards make you stop? What types of things make you stop scrolling whenever you're on your phone? That's going to give you some indication as to why you stopped. And I'll bet you you're going to find that majority of the time, it's because of that exact thing that we're talking about as far as you are scrolling and you see a pain point that you have or something you have in common, or it speaks to you in some way, shape or form, and it causes you to stop. So it was a great conversation yesterday. I can't wait to see the changes and what's going to happen for this business owner. But I realized that I've had this conversation a few times with multiple different small business owners, and they've seen great success when they've changed up how they are marketing. The marketing company that you've hired, they're already charging you an arm and a leg for what it is that they do. They may not understand your client as well as you do. Let them take over the creative aspect of it. Let them take over how to make it pretty and make the colors right and all that other fun jazz. You are the only person that knows how to talk to your client and talk to that that potential customer and what their pain points are. So it's really important that if you're going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on this marketing, don't just give it to them and forget it and set it. They do not understand your client you do. So make sure you have that dialogue with them and what you're trying to accomplish as you spend that money. It's the only way you're going to get that return on that money. Because honestly, when it comes to a lot of that marketing, whether you spend a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or more, remember that's profit you have to make up, not sales. So if you spend a thousand dollars, you need to make a thousand dollars of new profit just to pay for it, not a thousand dollars in sales. So we really want this kind of marketing to really hit home as to what it is that these people are really trying to get. So I'm going to stop rattling because I want you to really think about your marketing, what it is that you're putting out there. I want you to go look at the last few pieces that you put out that you think are just total failures and aren't working and go look at it through your customer's eyes and say, would this made me stop scrolling? Would this catch my attention? Is this hitting the pain point that I have? Or am I talking about the great, wonderful things I'll have later on? Because the great, wonderful things I'll have later on may not be what's talking to them. It's like, hey, do you have this pain? Are you struggling with this? Do you have this problem? That's what you want to try to throw out there because they're going to go, yeah, I've got that problem. What you got? That's kind of what we're looking at. So hopefully I'm conveying this correctly for you. And like I said, next time we'll get the uh, audio to be much better. I'm, I'm sure it's going to sound fine, but I'm picky on audio. And we will talk on the next episode. Bye for now.